In this video, I'm going to be looking at a new application, a new website that's part of the Pirate Chain ecosystem. NordVPN is becoming more than just a VPN. Threat protection will guard your device against malicious websites, malware, trackers, and intrusive ads, even if you're not connected to a VPN server at the time. Step up your cybersecurity and stay safe. The world's most advanced cold wallet for the new generation of cryptocurrency lovers, Descent. Hi everybody, this is Crypto Rich, working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. And, in, and I have with me Drake from Pirate Chain and the Quartermaster from a Pirate Chain related website service, which we're going to be finding out about. Now, before I introduce them, please subscribe, follow me on Twitter, CryptoRichYT. If you're watching this on YouTube, well, you're probably not going to see the whole thing because I'll just do a few minutes on YouTube and the rest of it will be on Odyssey. And please do come and follow me on Odyssey. Subscribe to me there, bit.ly Crypto Rich Odyssey. I post more material on Odyssey than I do on YouTube, and that's because of YouTube's censorship. Please also follow me on Twitter and join my official Telegram announcements channel. Okay, here we go. Hey, Dre, thank you so much. Once again, you are the captain of the good ship. Yes, you are the captain of the good ship Pirate Chain, and I am a first mate, and Pirate Chain is the most supreme and most private of all the cryptocurrencies going on. But in this video, we're not going to be talking about Pirate Chain. We're going to be talking about another project that is part of the pirate chain ecosystem and this has been launched by you quartermaster and this is barter.com i mean pronounce really it should be pronounced barter.com and i'll have all the links in the description below so uh where should we start who wants to go first yeah just for uh clarification um quartermaster over here is the first mate as well so. ah ah okay well it's a big ship and i don't get to meet all the crew <laughs> okay okay well one first mate to another welcome uh good to speak to you so who who wants to start i don't know where to go with this one should we start with barter.com or say a little bit about pirate chain let's say a little uh, bit about pirate chain. yeah so pirate chain as everyone knows is one of the most or if not the most anonymous cryptocurrency on the market and um utilizes zk snarks to show these transactions and all that other fun stuff so it was, you know, no pre-mine, no ICO, IEO, nothing. So started from the community and then just continued on as a community project. So, yep, absolutely. Fully decentralized, volunteer run uh, cryptocurrency, more private and secure than Monero. Yep. And any other cryptocurrency going. Okay. So and uh, barter.com, and I'll have the links in the description below is a project that you've set up quartermaster it's not part of it doesn't belong to pirate chain or anything but it well yeah yes and no i mean yes it, it no. does in, it does in spirit yes because because you know we're all volunteers in the community you know doing things on 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 behalf of the promotion of pirate chain so that that's exactly what barter is and and where it came from the thinking behind it is to um, enhance, um, you know, everything going on with Pirate Chain. Because at the end of the day, uh, I think we all agree that the aim is to use Pirate Chain as an alternative to the current collapsing fiat system. Mm -hmm. So um, the concept basically arose, uh, I mean, the concepts out there, we, we already have the fantastic armada.com. Which is which is a um, program for businesses to uh, accept pirate chain from their customers. And um, as a long time moderator in Telegram, I saw lots of comments about, you know, um, well that's a bit complicated for me as an individual. What if I want to sell something um, and, and get R for it? And I thought, hell, why not? I mean. It's not that easy to use crypto out there, so let's make it easy for everybody, and let's make it easy for the, for the most private of all pirate. So I thought the best solution would be a classified ad style website to uh, enable pirates to do several things. First of all, it, it enables them 
to um, make R, uh, selling stuff that they may not use in a, it has no KYC, obviously, um, you know, so you can acquire R um, without having to go to exchanges, without exchange fees, without without um, fees for swapping Bitcoin or any other um, crypto into Pirate. So it has that huge advantage. Um, but the, the main point behind it is to use R as a means of transacting. And, and what it does, it enables people to get in touch with each other of the same mindset um, who are willing to use R. I mean, you get by, by being a member of uh, Barter, you're literally guaranteeing R acceptance because it's a, uh, a requisite to, to be a member of Barter is to, you have to pay a membership fee, a very small one, just basically to show that you have the ability um, to transact in R. So the membership fee is in R itself. Okay. And okay, Quartermaster, hold on one second, please. Sorry, I'm, I'm not hearing you. You're breaking your brain. Hold on one second, please. Okay, it sounds a little bit like a sort of eBay, but an eBay that uses Pirate Chain. Is that right? Well, yes and no. It's more like um, more akin to something like Craigslist because it's a classified site. Um, oh. There's no auction. There's no auctioning. There are no f um, listing fees. There are no end of sale commissions. Um, once you become a member, that's it. You can post as many adverts as you like. Um, it does take a little bit from the mainstream in, the, in that there are levels of membership. So if you want to pay a bit more, you have more photos, um, you know, better exposure, that kind of thing, which is pretty mainstream. But, but that, in essence, is, is really for uh, people who want to contribute more, who feel like, you know, that it's a worthwhile thing and they would like to spend 30 bucks instead of 10 bucks to support the project. Because everything that it does earn is going towards upgrades. It's going to, to make it, um, well, just a better um, application altogether as time goes on. We had to start We had to start pretty basic. I mean, I'm just one guy doing this, so. Um, yes. Yeah. And, but, but why a, a membership scheme? Well, um, two main reasons. Um, the first and, and the, the most important is, is that the membership has to be paid in R. So you, you are literally proving your ability and willingness to deal in R. And secondly, because I'm just a one-man show here and, and I, I don't have the resources to uh, constantly fund this, so it does need some ongoing um, costs covered. And if I want to upgrade it, which... I will do, you know, as time goes by, then it needs to be funded somehow. And uh, I, I, am a, I am a man of limited means. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Okay. And, then, and when did it start and when has it got going? Well, it, you know, um, as Drake can attest um, to it, we, we are a volunteer community and many people have good intentions. Um, but when it comes, push comes to shove, it's quite hard to follow through uh, sometimes. So I actually started the concept, oh, crikey, probably seven or eight months ago. But um, in the end, I, I had to um, go outside of the community for some help to build it. And um, we finally got it done about a month ago now. We kicked it, I think we kicked it off uh, earlier, yeah, earlier this month at the monthly meeting of the Pirate Chain. And uh, we've had a pretty good response so far, I must say. And uh, we just need to keep the momentum going now, and uh, good things good things uh, are definitely on the horizon for this. Okay, so let me get this. So, so this is like Craigslist, but it's a membership, membership only, different levels. People pay for the membership fees in R. The membership fees help pay towards the upkeep and the running and the server costs or whatever. And then people yeah. can use this to buy and sell goods. You know, they got... I suppose in much the same way as people would on Craigslist, you can buy and sell yeah. on this, right? Okay. And yeah, absolutely. And what if people want to transact in something other than R? Like if I go on, I become a member and I want to, I see something I want to buy, but I want to pay in, um, in a proper privacy coin like Dash. <laughs> <laughs> nice wind up there. Uh, the, the, the deal is this, okay? We ask you to show that you have the ability 
to transact in R. Now, I'm not going to insist that every transaction is done in R. When, when pirate meets pirate and they do a deal, and one of them says, I want to use R, then the other one should agree. That That's like the spirit behind sure. it. You know, and if somebody says, no, I'm, I'm only taking, you know, dollars, then it kind of defeats the object. And, and if that kind of thing is, a, you know, uh, I'm made aware of, let's say, um, we might have to discuss the membership of that person. Right. So, so it is, it, 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 you know, it, it's there for a specific purpose. We're not going to stop anybody using Monero. Great, you know, it, you know that's all part of the push to get out of fear. But it, but it's an encouragement to use R as it is intended to be. Okay, and then what are the guarantees and the for the buyer and for the seller? Like, I'm going to send you some R, and you, I'm going to send me some books or something. And then what if I never get the books? Okay, well, I mean, if you do that on Craigslist, you do that on any other classified site, it's the same thing. I mean, this is why we encourage people to try and form local communities mm -hmm. to transact with people they have some kind of relationship with, whether that be in person or online. But just, just like any mainstream classified site, they'll tell you, you know, beware scammers, um, try and deal locally. Look, and, and you know, there, there's certain flags, red flags that will pop up. Um, having said that, uh, we're also working on a solution. Um, it's it's not a the initial solution isn't perfectly satisfactory because it's it regards trust. And I'm all, um, let me explain that. I, I'm building an escrow site to go alongside it, mm -hmm. so that if there is an issue, you know, people are worried about um, sending R directly to somebody not receiving goods, then you're going to be able to use a trusted pirate chain. Um, middleman but we're going to try and, and make that a much um, stronger solution a more a trustless solution through a blockchain efforts which perhaps Drake can talk about a little bit more it, it's a very complicated um, project to try and develop but, but, but it's something we're definitely um, going to follow up on right okay yeah. so Essentially, what he was referring to is uh, the idea that I put forward to a couple of the developers I'm in touch with, essentially using Pirate as the means to do escrow services, right? So the way that that would work is, oh, not only escrow services, but trading uh, Pirate with any other coin or token uh, trustlessly. because. What it essentially does is the idea is utilizing Pirate's memo field to contain information in a transaction that's generated that essentially says, okay, so this is what I should be scanning the chain for on one side and then the other side. And then once both of those conditions are met, that's when the funds are distributed to each side, right? Okay. That's as as simple as I can really put it, and as much detail as I really want to go into at this point in time, because sure. it's still in the very, very, very early stages. So it's still in the research, still in the research phase, primarily. So, but it's something that I'm currently working on that I think will be not only a huge help to barter, but to everything else as well. You know, imagine trying to transact privately, and instead of you know having to find a middleman to have, that you trust to send funds to and then the other person sends you funds and so forth, you can just do it without that middleman and you can rely on the fact that it's done trustlessly to trade actual currencies. So, Okay, very good. And uh, what sort of goods and services will be available? Because if it's pirate chain, people could use this to buy and sell Will they be able to use this to buy and sell illicit services like drugs? No, this is not this is not a, a dark web um, thing. It, it's you know it's <laughs> the whole thing about you talk about privacy coins with uh, you know Monero and the, and the the dark web and this is why it's going to be shut down. It, it's not we're not here to encourage 
Well, if this is my personal take on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the pirate's not here to encourage, you know, illegal activities, um, you know, to try and, and do things under the table. It's trying to do things on the table in, in terms of change. Right. We, want people to, we want people to go about their business using pirate chain, or at least I do, um, using pirate chain. It's 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 not a it's not a, a platform to uh, to do things illicitly. It, it's you know, apart from the fact that uh, you know I don't want to spend any time in jail. All I'm trying all all I'm trying to do here is encourage the use of it. And uh, there's no reason that using pirate chain should be illicit. We we should sure. be open about it. We should be saying sure. this is better. You know, we're not going to. We're not breaking your rules. We're not. We're not trying to. Uh, you know, harm anybody. We're trying to improve on what we've got. And um, you know, it, so from that that point of view, uh, no, it's 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 a totally open uh, uh, platform. Open, legal, public, not dark web, uh, like a, a sort of an equivalent of Craigslist, but one that uses pirate chain instead of the local currency. Okay. Yeah. Now, and see the, the the key thing about this is that it makes pirate chain do what it's intended to do, and that's mm-hmm. be an actual currency, a means of uh, use between uh, me, means of use of exchange, a means of exchange for okay. goods and services. Right. So just like how you have you know stores like actual businesses on uh, on the Armada. This is meant for the average Joe trading goods and services for pirate chain. Okay. And what sort of stuff do you have for sale currently, Quartermaster? Oh, well. Yeah, it's, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, anything from a handbag to a uh, palatial home in Costa Rica at the moment and, wow. and anything in between. So, you know, there's no limit here. I mean, Whatever you've got that you want to turn into R, or, or whatever you want to use it for. I mean, you could you could post literally a- anything. I mean, yeah, like a rocket to a peanut butter cup. I, I mean, whatever you like. <laughs> sure. Okay. And then, can people also use it for selling services as well? Sure. Yeah. Look, it's a basic platform at the moment. I wanted to get this in motion. Mm. Um, so it's not. It's not. A very sophisticated platform yet, but what it does is put pirates in touch with pirates, and they have a messaging system. Um, now they can either use that, knowing the um, privacy issues with being on the World Wide Web, or once they're in touch, they can start using pirate chain memos within their wallets and become completely private. Mm-hmm. But but. But there's no, nothing to stop them saying, you know, hey, I'm a plumber, hire me. I, I you know, I work for R. Um, you know, I'm a babysitter. Um, you know, uh, anything like that. You could, or, or I'm an employer. I'm looking for, uh, you know, people who who have, have got uh, the mindset that I'm looking for. Um, people who understand the concept behind R, and I'll pay you R. You you could use it for anything. Very good. Very good. Okay. Well, I like the sound of that. Now, how are you going to get people to know about this project? Well, exactly the same way as uh, we want them to know about Pirate Chain. I mean, we are a volunteer community. So um, everybody within Pirate Chain is the marketing arm and and everybody who signs up for Barter is the marketing arm. So, you know, they're encouraged to tweet, to Instagram, to, you know, post their uh, listings. Um, I do the same, at, you know, on behalf of Barter. There's a Barter Twitter account. There's, there's um, you know, encouragement across all our social media. As much as we can, we'll do, you know. Okay, very good. Very and good. there's you, of course. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes my fabulously uh, shadow band ch- channel. <laughs> okay. Um, and then becoming a membership, becoming a member, there's, how does somebody do that? Do they need to give their full details? Because you said there's no KYC. Well, well, no. Obviously, you want to give other pirates an idea of your location. So right. you you sign up with a, um, a, a an avatar name. You, know, you could be the pirate name from one of your chats, whatever you want. 
you put a you put a region of where you live yeah um within a country just to give a broad idea so that um obviously as we said earlier you know local trade is is probably the way to go before the escrow stuff kicks in yeah so um yeah that that's it oh an email and and if you like if you're willing to be contacted by phone number you can put that in as well but it's it's not obligatory right okay otherwise people will contact you by email or telegram handle yeah they can i mean that on the website on barter.com there is a uh, contact us uh, form so um, that's no problem. Any questions? And we have a, we have a, well, I have a te- Telegram account which is currently um, invitation only for members, um, just to keep scammers uh, at bay, sure. if, if that's possible on Telegram. But um, yeah, um, you know, people know me um, pretty well through the main pirate chain chat on Telegram. So. Uh, we have so many avenues now on Pirate um, to contact us about anything. Okay. So um, people can join. They don't have to give their full details. They give a, a approximate location of where they are. They uh, pay their membership fees in Pirate Chain, and then they mm-hmm. can start posting or responding to posts for goods and services. Yep. Now, just one of the things I thought, can people use this for, for buying and selling cryptocurrencies? Uh, <laughs> well, in theory, yes, but it's probably not a, a sensible idea at the moment. I mean, it's not not an exchange. Mm. Uh, you know, we don't have the the mechanisms to do to do that sensibly. I mean, I think you know you want to stick to exchanges for that at the moment. I mean, look, we're, we're we're just about to be uh, on an on atomic decks. We're just about to be on Quartal um, atomic swaps. You know, those are those are being tested and they are imminent. So there's no need for us to to overlap those kind of superior services for that kind of thing. Right. OK, well, you're going on atomic decks would be really good because then people can pay through that. <coughs> and, and in which countries are you operating in? Yes. <laughs> you name it. I mean, if you, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, we we, we could be anywhere in the world it, it doesn't matter if, if you want to list something and you're prepared to do a uh, you know caribbean to um england transaction then uh, you can do it right okay but that wouldn't necessarily be for a sofa no, <laughs> no unless it floats right okay all right um and if people i mean i'll have all the links in the description below if people want to find out more and check it out and try it out and join uh, is there anything else you want to let us know? Anything we haven't covered? Well, no. I mean, all I want to say, really, Rich, is is if you get what pirate is all about, then there's no reason for you not to join this. Mm. I mean, even if you don't think that you're going to be a prolific buyer and seller, by by joining up and posting. You're uh, something that you don't want. You're showing the world that pirate chain can do what we say it can, and that is be used as a currency. So if yes. you are a fan of pirate chain, you want to see the change happen. Sign up, post something. You, the Christmas present that you got last year, you hate it. Swap it into R. Yes. Just support the project. Well, not just that. I mean, I'm sure everybody's got something lying around, books or furniture or, you know, in my yeah. case, I'm thinking I, I've got a tandem that nobody, I love riding bicycles, but nobody in my house will ride the tandem with me. So <laughs> what use is a tandem on its own, right? But I could post a tandem. Now, you did say to me, and I want to make sure that this gets said, that the membership fee is lifetime. If I, you know, if somebody were to advertise something, is there a time limit on how long that ad is up for? Well, let me clarify. The, the, the basic membership, which is 10 bucks equivalent in R, is lifetime. The, the enhanced um, memberships, which will give you things like featured ads, unlimited photos, etc., are annual. Okay. And $10, okay. $10 payable in R. Yeah. But in terms of, um, in terms of how long does your, do your ads last, it's like any of those platforms. 
you know, if if it's been on there for six months, it's going to be at the bottom of the list, you know. Right. And if you see what I mean, it, it it's not a new concept. It, it's a if you understand how classified ad sites work, that's how it works. Right. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. Anything else, guys? Um. One just just one last thing for me is that you know, as everyone knows, this is a community project. You know, and this is something that came from, you know, Pirate Chain itself, you know, strict specifically from Quartermaster. And, you know, the ideas that he has floating around his head that I discussed with him for quite a while. And I'm just so happy to see that, you know, he got it to production and, you know, in use. So and being a community project, I would love to see the community get behind this, you know, because this is how we got to where we are today. It's just the community, you know. So that being said, you know, like Quartermaster's been saying, if you're a fan of Pirate, you know, sign up, post some stuff, use it. You know, we're making things that are actually usable to the public. So if you want to support Pirate, this is what we have to offer. Use it. Very good. Very good. Absolutely. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. Okay. Anything else, guys? That's it for me. All right. Well, listen, thank you. Thank you, the both of you, for taking time out. And Quartermaster, if, you know, if there's any significant updates or news announcements, feel free to ask, invite yourself back right. into the channel, one first mate to another. And of course, <laughs> you Ray, always, always welcome, Captain. Um, if anybody have any comments or questions, let me know in the description below. If you have Pirate Chain, please give me the ticker symbol as a comment. It helps my channel grow. And um, check out barter.com. I'll have all the links in the description below. And of course, do check out Pirate Chain. That's pirate.black. And between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with Crypto Profits. This is Crypto Rich and Crypto Quartermaster and Crypto Dre signing out. All the best. Bye bye. Later. Meet NordPass. It creates strong passwords for you, keeps them safely locked in a single place, and automatically logs you into all of your favorite online accounts. And you can access it all on all of your devices, even when you're offline. That's NordPass.